failover testing with Zerto Virtual Replication. Zerto Virtual Replication allows many operations, one of which is failover testing. So today we're going to be looking at how to set up and perform a failover test. The failover test is non-disruptive, and let's look at the architectural elements that we'll need. We have a primary data center and a secondary data center. And we have a simple Zerto deployment of a Zerto Virtual Manager and the VRAs at each site. The storage uh, hardware really doesn't matter and the number of hosts really doesn't matter. As long as we got the sites connected then we're good to go for testing and for actual failover and recovery operations. Okay so we've got our demo site here. We've got one called the primary site and then we've got our secondary site actually called New York. So let's look at the vCenter and we're also going to do the failover from the Zerto web-based GUI but I want to look at this also in the uh, virtual center to where we can see the operations as well. Okay, so let's move over to the web-based interface. Let's pick a VPG. So this is a virtual protection group that we want to do a failover test for. I'm going to select and make sure that I choose test and the failover button. And there it shows me the VPG that I want to test. And then it's a, just a few clicks. Let's check on the checkpoint we want to use. There's multiple ways to select the checkpoint. I'm just going to pick one from a drop down list and point in time that I want to go back to. This could go as far as five days prior in our checkpoints and this is completely non-disruptive testing so it, no impact to the production environment. So we'll hit next and then we'll do the failover. And again this is testing with no impact to production. Now we see our little test icon come up there in the corner and we can stop that whenever we need. We also see the alert from the task manager in the top and we see that in vCenter as well. And we'll see the machines at the target site, the test machines, be added to the inventory of the vCenter. And we're looking at the, uh, the operations going. So here comes the VMs. Let's spread this out so we see testing recovery in the actual vCenter view. So it's all seam seamless as a plug-in, but also a web-based GUI standalone that you can do the management from as well. This is at the target site, so let's say that we've got the machines up, we've done the testing, now we're going to stop the test. And we click stop. It pops up a little interface, and we can make notes about the test itself. And I'm going to say it's successful. And then I'll conclude the test and let it do the cleanup operation. So what it's going to do, you're going to see the things in reverse basically on the uh, vCenter inventory. It will shut down and remove the virtual machines from the inventory and you'll be ready to either fail over a test once again. So as it, there's the cleanup operation. There it goes. We can look back over at the web-based interface and see things are the same information there from either side so because it's important if you do have a true communication stop between the sites you'll be doing this from the recovery site and that's all there is to doing failover testing using Zerto virtual replication be sure to check out other episodes of the master disaster series to see other operations such as this thank you for watching